So Eric, what's our, what's our first shoe that we're going to look at today? This is the Adidas Alpha Bounce Trainer. The, say it one more time, please. Adidas Alpha Bounce Trainer. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So run me through run me through some of the the shoe tests that we typically do. So so the torque. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty foldy. Yep. So it's got a lot of torque to it, a lot of softness, and the midsole's kind of soft. And actually, I mean, until you get the right angle on it. Right. But it does have some initial stiffness to it. Right. To, to and, and most of that's caused by these. Uh, this kind of heel lock with the rubber piece on the back. Okay, okay. All right, and then, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at that when, when you when you put it on, and, mm -hmm. and we'll come back to that in just okay. a moment. What's our alternative shoe today? This is the New Balance Minimus. Okay, and it's got a number? 20 V7. Seven. Yep. Okay, okay. Um, and, and so right away we kind of noticed something when you when you picked this shoe up, right. which I thought was- it is extremely light. It okay. is the lightest shoe by far that we've tested. And 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 tilt it down and bring it towards the camera just a little bit. Um, t turn it like you did for me, where you where you could see the light going through. The oh shoe. yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know. Can you see? Just through? just bring it. Literally, just bring it up to the. Yep. There you go. That that'll do it. And then just cover. Yeah. So you can literally see through this shoe. Yeah. So minimum of material here. Yep. So and we're and we're talking about using these shoes for linear speed and change of directions and things like that. Right. So so right away, from a structural standpoint, when something is that light, we have to start thinking that, that you know, there's probably going to be a specific outcome going on here right. with these things, right? Right. Oh, I'm sorry. So go ahead and run, run through the shoe test. Wow. Okay. So the torque test is... So it so, folds into one flat piece. Okay. So compare that to, to the it was the Adidas? Yes. Yeah. So so how much structure compared to the Adidas right off the bat in your opinion? Less. Less for sure. It okay. feels uh, I don't know. The the actual sole of the shoe feels more secure than the Adidas did because I'm not getting as much twist through the sole. Mm -hmm. I get as mu I get a lot of give with the fabric. Okay. And the fabric is the part that's concerned us. Okay. Just Fair from enough. unboxing the shoe. Fair enough. Um, obviously not a lot going on on the back end. Okay. And I mean, midsole, not bad. Uh, I have tried these on already and I was impressed with, with the feel of the midsole and the okay. heel. Well, let's, let's, let's have you put, put both pairs of shoes on and let's go through those at, and just give me your, okay. your, your opinion in, in a live shot. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. So what, what do you have on right now? I have the Adidas Alpha Bounce trainers. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in on these babies right here. Okay, and so before you even stand up, so give me an idea about what, what you're feeling. Okay, um, pretty wide feeling toe box. I think if you look at the structure of the shoes, it, it is wider at the front. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, pretty secure across the, the midsole and the heel. Um, uh, we've seen this, this this type of shoe before and mm -hmm. I think that this leads me to believe that I'm going to jam into the front with how loose it is in the front okay. um, and just I mean you can see how much wiggle room I have with my toes here um, for a size 12 which is the size that I wear I mean this this feels um, very very loose in, in the front of the foot um, other than that I'm not noticing a lot of support it is very flat on the inside okay um, it, it doesn't feel bad. Okay, go ahead and stand up for me, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go down to your feet again. All right, so just give me a sense of, of your initial feel. You're gonna move around inside the shoe a little bit, wiggle your toes, slide your foot around a little bit, and I'm gonna come back up to you. And now, so give me your opinion there, boss. Um, weight's pretty evenly distributed. I don't feel like I'm too far on my toe. Again, it's pretty flat. I think these are a zero drop shoe. Okay. Um, and so it doesn't feel like I'm moving around a whole lot. I don't feel more inverted than everted. It feels okay. pretty flat across the foot. And I do, do you feel have... Do you feel heavy on the heel? Um, no. Okay. Do you it feel like just... you're tipped forward? Not really. Okay. So I you feel just... really evenly balanced. Okay.
this is the New Balance Minimus 20v7. Yep. All right, so before you stand up, just give me like a little synopsis here. All right. Um, compared to the other one, and in general, uh, much tighter around the midsole. Okay, we kind of um, like that, I especially feel for the agility really, base. Really, really well. Okay. Um, which, you know, for a pushing athlete, that's something that I want, or any athlete, really. Mm -hmm. um, and then the heel lock um, is, is much more secure feeling on this shoe than it is on the other. Okay. Um, the toe, as you can see, the shape of the toe um, is a little different. It, it has more room towards the pinky toe um, than the other shoe did in, uh, instead of just being kind of a wide fan out on the front. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, pretty secure. And actually, this fabric uh, is, is, it feels almost uh, like there's multiple layers of weaving uh, across the top, at least. Okay. That provide a little more support. So even, it, so even though that we've, we're dealing, obviously, with a very, very light material shoe, you, you feel like there's some reinforcement right. there. Right. Well, we did show the sides being being translucent through the side. Right. Um, I feel like they've made up for that a little bit with, with how this material feels okay. uh, across the top of the toe. Okay. Well, then this is going to be kind of interesting to see what happens when we take you out on the turf and run you around then, isn't sure. it? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Based tests, and so let's pick. You, you pick which one you want to go with okay. first, and then uh, take me through the description of what you felt and uh, where you would uh, grade it. Right. Actually, we'll save the grades for the end. Okay. 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 Just just run me through what you think. Let's start with the Adidas Alpha Bounce. So, uh, can I just say how unattractive this shoe is for me? Right. I know you think that. <laughs> I just. I know you think this. That. That that little add-on there. Yeah. Does that add? Does that provide anything in regards to either a, sens a sensory experience, an element of control, or is it just for show? You know what it does. It helps me control the shoe as I pull it onto my foot. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. Um, I don't know how well they can see this with an all-black shoe. There is a ton of plastic here, and then the actual ground contact profile of the shoe. If you look from the top. This fans out on the bottom and provides actually. Oh, the, so the sole, the, so that, so is this a one piece? Yeah. It's, uh, so it's uh, a one upper, piece upper. Yes. Yep. Okay, so it's a one piece upper sitting inside of a, a plastic boat. Yeah. Basically. Basically. Is what we're basically. Okay, and so so the the so the sole is actually so it's it's wider at the bottom than it is at the top all the way around. Am, yes. I, am I correct? Right. Okay. Right. Does that? How does that feel as you're rocking inside of the shoe? Hmm. Standing earlier. It was good. Okay. It feels like my weight is evenly distributed. I think we talked about that a okay. little bit. And when you asked me where I noticed weight being centered more, since it is a zero drop, I don't think I noticed. There's not a lot of arch in it, um, which I need like an arch sensation right. for me to feel. Well, for side to side, I would, I would want that as well. Absolutely. Um, so I didn't notice it then. The lateral stuff is hard to get around with that ledge. So this is a tight, this is a, almost a teetering point, right? Because you can hit the outside of the shoe. Right. If you go too far on the outside of this shoe over this lip, that's, it's, literally you're going to get thrown yes. over the edge, yeah. so to speak. This is it, it, there is a clearly defined ledge right. where movement has to stop. Right. And if you tip over that, you're going to roll an ankle, or you're going to continue drifting. Right now, Out. so so did you did you feel like you were? This is a wider toe box as well. So did you feel like you were sliding sideways in the shoe that would have taken you to that edge? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't feel like at any point I felt like I had a hundred percent control of where I was going on the ground. Okay. And it just felt... well, what about the straight ahead versus side to side though? Straight ahead was not the most comfortable. 
I think I was slammed towards the front of the, the tow box most of the time. Okay. And so it, was it that worse on deceleration? No. Okay. Worse so. compared. Okay. No. O okay. It wasn't great. Okay. I definitely noticed it. Okay. Um, it just, it, it's kind of a blur. Okay. Okay. Kind well, of walking around there was, so far. There was nothing that was outstandingly terrible about it besides the fact that if you have a younger athlete who is, who is unable to control their momentum in a direction, this is almost an instant ankle, ankle sprain. It okay. just feels well, like that's that kind of a big deal, especially because that's what we work with. We, right. we, you know, we look at athletic development. We've got a lot of young kids that are looking for a, a, the right shoe. Right. Okay. All right. Well, let's go to the minimus then. So this is the minimus twenty v twenty v seven. Yep. Which and, and let me just make it very very clear that on the side this says meta supports. So that means I think meta means a lot. Mm -hmm. So meta if my translation is correct, I believe that it means a lot. <laughs> meta support. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you like this? Shoe. I did. It feels comfortable. It feels comfortable. It is. It is oh, for a sports shoe. I felt so much pronation on this. Okay. During during I don't movements. dislike that as long as it's not an excessive pronation because again when we think about the propulsive foot when we think about changes of direction the medial calcaneus the medial heel getting to the ground the medial arch right um, sensation is really really important because that's your one is protective and it's propulsive and so so when we talk about about whether you're going into a cut or out of a cut those are are really important elements so so take me through the straight ahead first straight ahead was as good of a shoe as I felt really so, felt... so let's go back let's go back to to the the tri base mm -hmm. thrive from under armor mm -hmm. would you say it's comparative that is the one area that this shoe, I think, edges it. Really? So I, this is better than the Tribe I Thrive? I think a com the, the so so it's not it's not providing variability between between what what some would call like a neutral foot and supination and pronation. It is driving pronation. Okay. It doesn't allow me to get out of it, which is going to be not great, right? Like we can agree right. that- Well, from a foot placement standpoint, yes. then maybe you've got a little bit of an issue, um, but, but getting your heel down, eh, yeah. you know, yeah. I'm not upset about that. It uh, it felt good, it felt light, obviously. We well, it's very, I mean, this, the shoe like, is. The, you know, when, when, when we got this and you picked it up, it was just like, you know. I didn't know there was anything in the box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, the the actual grip on the bottom is is different than a lot of the shoes we've seen. You can feel that it's tacky up uh -huh. towards the front. I mean, okay. it just I felt more glued in on my on my ten yard acceleration in this shoe than I have in any of the other shoes. I felt like I was getting the most uh, the most forward momentum out of each step that I could get. Okay. Okay. Really so so in. so so great ground contacts, yes. straight ahead. Right. Okay. Now let's. How about decelerations and then the, the the hurdle jumps, which would throw you forward into the shoe. Any problems with that? Yeah. Deceleration couldn't find a heel. So, so were you sliding forward or was it lifting you up? As it, you I felt I felt like I wasn't a, without lowering my my body. Without really breaking down, I wasn't able to get a heel down to the ground. It just felt like I was You're just sliding forward. Yeah, into the shoe. Okay. I was I was midfoot pad and forward on my toe the entire sprint, which is great if I'm accelerating, but for for the decel, not great. Okay, okay. Um, now what about lateral? Lateral was good, honestly. I I I I'm, I'll be really interested to see the video uh, of right. with both comparisons um, because it was so good in the I I just. Two, two steps after I made a cut, it felt clean again because I felt like that linear speed was right. so locked in. So it's hard to judge how how poorly or how well it did from a lateral cut standpoint. But I will say there 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 was a notice, noticeable difference between the two. Okay. Um, how so? I said I was able to to feel uh, you know medial arch really really well. That was maintained throughout, but I'm not sure if it was so. Too much. Does that make sense? Right. Well, again, again, so so you think about the turnaround point, 
in, in, in the cut, which is going to be very biased towards the, the pronated element, medial heel contact and, and arch contact. And so, so again, if, if that provides you that, that sensation and it's a high quality um, uh, element of control, then I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. My concern is because of the lightweight structure of the shoe um, through, the, through the midfoot, the reinforcement is all, all forefoot. Right. I'm just wondering what that feels like when you're really at the turnaround point. Right. Um, it was, and this is this is light. It, it wasn't like I was rolling up carpet, but it was a little like I was rolling up carpet. It, it where whereas it felt in the linear sprint that it was very locked into the ground that I was getting every step and I was pulling. I got that too much getting out of the cut. Do you feel like you were stuck to the ground? Yeah. Kind of a sensation? Yeah, for sure. And I think you'll notice that. In the okay. Video. Like that well, was... but, and, and that kind of makes sense based on the sensation that you're describing right. because your ability to leave the ground obviously is, is the ability to resupinate. And, right. And so, so then there, while there is a benefit to it, then there is obviously a limitation. So right. there's going to be some give and take there. One other note with this, on the jump test, I think they'll notice, especially in the, the single leg jump test, it is hard to keep momentum from going forward. So having any type of like vertical jump um, is really, really difficult in this shoe, especially when, when we're trying to make like a light hop going forwards, it ends up drifting forward into just catching yourself over and over and over again from each hurdle. So if those would have been more than five hurdles, I would, at some point I was kicking over a hurdle or I would have landed on my face. It was v the same way that we talked about how it struggles with deceleration. I could not get full foot contact with each hop. So, so you kept tilting forward and forward and yes. forward again. I was just catching myself. It was, it was just repeated. Is my foot so this be is really, be so, so let me, let me, this is really interesting. So, so from a linear perspective, you're getting tilted further and further forward. Right. right? But from the, the lateral movement of going into and out of the cut, it's holding you down yes. and not letting you change. Right. So, so this is a really interesting combination of, yeah. of, of factors. So, Let's back up. Let's go back to the Adidas for a second then. Let, let's give them a letter grade. Let, let's, let's go after this because we do have a standard based on previous shoe tests that, right. that we've gone through. And we do have a, a sort of a favorite shoe. I have a favorite shoe. No, I do too. Yeah. Which, which you know. that is yep. the, So they, just to review, the Under Armour uh, Tri-Base Thrive mm -hmm. is, is my favorite training shoe of, of late right. uh, because of its ability to cover so many more bases. How does the Adidas, and again, I don't remember the name of this one. Alpha Bounce Trainer. Okay, there you go. Um, how does this compare? It's a, it's a decent shoe. Um, this would not make a recommendation list for me in almost any scenario. Okay. It's, uh, it's an Adidas shoe. What, like, it's a fashion shoe. It's a fashion shoe that, that maintains the title of a trainer because it's able to to cover the bases good enough. Okay. I don't feel like I'm gonna bust out of the sides of it, um, but it doesn't it, it doesn't enhance my training experience at all if I'm working with a young athlete, especially. Do you feel safe in that shoe? No. There you go. I think I think that that right off the bat. Right. Is like okay, so give me right. a letter, Greg. C minus. C minus. C minus. Ouchie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just, I mean, it, it'll it'll get the job done. If this is what, if somebody gave you this for free, take the shoe. But I'd also consider <laughs> getting something else on the side just to balance it out. Um, yeah, C minus. Okay. C minus. All right. All right. New balance. Minimus. Twenty. V. Seven. Okay. There are a lot of factors about this shoe that I like, and there are okay. a lot that I don't like. Okay. Um. That being said, I don't feel safe in in many of the lateral situations that we would ask our, our athletes to be in. So right. uh, most of the speed and agility work, um, I don't like it as a weightlifting shoe just because of the excessive pronation. I don't think that's... So let me ask you this. So when you were doing the, the hang clean, mm -hmm. were you getting thrown forward like you were yeah. with the... De so, okay. So again, you're just getting thrown forward with the decels. Right. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. All right. So... Um, considering what we've experienced so far, right. and considering that there's some elements that you do like, mm -hmm. but it seems to me like it's a walking around shoe. Mm -hmm. So, would you train in it? If I had a linear only day, yeah. Maybe. Really? Like a, Maybe. Like, with a short excels? Right. 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 Not a whole lot of detail. Um, I, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give this one a C plus 
or C minus also. I think that, but for different reasons, yes, I'm assuming. Because I think that this one is just good enough in all areas. It's it's the Heinz Heinz Ward of shoes. It just <laughs> you know whatever he played, he, he can throw the ball once in a while. He'll do a kick return. It's good enough, not great at anything. Right. Okay. This is okay. this is really really good in a linear aspect, okay. and then it is less than good in many other aspects of a shoe. Okay. But I think that if, if you know, if you're, maybe you have a, a linear sport athlete that, that is not as balanced in, in the things that they do and the sports they participate in, then maybe this is a shoe that, that would be a good choice for them. I okay. Don't, I don't like it for our athletes. Fair, fair enough. But I'll so, give them equal ratings. So, so my favorite shoe still wins. Is Absolutely. That, is, that, is that fair to Absolutely. say? I don't like saying that to you, but yes. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. All right, so um, I guess we'll pick the next two shoes here, and then and we'll we'll have at it. And uh, this is, I think, the third round. Yeah. And so uh, we'll get ready for round four. Yeah. If you guys have any recommendations, make sure to send me. Oh yeah, yeah. Just throw up the recommendations here, um, and uh, we'll be happy to take a look at them.